how to work with pubs or in LWC. It's kind of application type of event in Lightning components. Let me create one quick component, SFDX. Create Lightning Web component. I'll say that uh, pubs uh, publisher. I'll say one is pubs uh, publisher. LWC component. Creating it. So let it get created. Now, so this is my HTML. Let's open my HTML file and metadata file also parallelly. Metadata, I'll just add these targets, these exposure to on these targets, the population. Um, in the HTML, say that I am publisher. What I am publishing here? What I will publish here? So, let's talk about Lightning Dev Lightning iPhone card title observe. So in this I'll create one input variable lightning iPhone input type equal to text and data iPhone my iPhone ID equal to why I need to say let's see oh yeah data iPhone my iPhone ID equal to input val label equal to enter text to publish so this is my input. Now tell me, um, either Paragar Avinash, okay. Now how can I read a data? How can I read a data here from here? How can I read a data from a button? Lightning. L I G H T M I. Lightning. Iphone. Button. Label equal to. Publish. Observe. And on click equal to on click observe publish. This is my method name, okay? Right? My function name isn't it? Okay. Now I'll say event. Now, what is the important thing that I need to know? Like, uh, I wanted to get input value. How to get the input value? This dot template dot query selector remove or you 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 forgot this dot query selector. What you need to get here? Lightning input. Inside double quotes, lightning input, square brackets, data iPhone my dot value. Remember or not this one? Right? So let's check whether we are getting value or not. Alert. This is really important, right? Before you do anything, first we need to check whether we are having a values or not. So input values. Deploy it. So meanwhile, let's go here. And go to an app. Got deployed. Let it go to LWC tips and tricks. 
calling them okay yesterday we added the alerts just to check like connected call back. that alert is for connected call back. hope you remembered that so now let's go and add where is my publisher pubs are publisher i'm adding it here say go back So if I say one, two, three, four, so I'm getting like a completely like namespace and too much of stuff, right? So what I need to get here, dot value, nothing else, isn't it? Let it get deployed. Refresh. Okay. One, two, three, four. So we got input value equal to one, two, three. So now this is looking good. Now what is pending here? We need to publish an event, right? We need to publish an event. How can I publish an event? So we already had a PubSub file. This was provided by Salesforce only. This is not something I created. This was copied from Salesforce Git repositories from the LWC recipes. Okay. There is a Git folder uh, called LWC recipes provided by Salesforce. I copied the PubSub file from there and I'm using it. So how I'm using it. So you need to write, you need to import your PubSub file. So it is there in your local folder for import which event because this is a publisher so i need i would be needed to implement my which event five event i will be implementing my five event so this is a method that i am importing here from what is the namespace that i am using here c is right because this is in a local namespace so i can say c pub sub so you imported a PubSub file. Now other thing, if you can see PubSub, they are using a page reference. Page reference is nothing but a navigation. So the page reference you will get an another import statement from import. You can say uh, there is a navigation reference. There is a navigation lightning slash navigation. One minute. There is a current page reference something. Lightning slash navigation is the library. Lightning slash navigation. Okay, lightning navigation documentations. Current page reference. So I wanted to import this current page reference. Okay. So my current page reference. So this is an interface that I have Salesforce has. So I'm using this one. And when I wanted to assign my current page reference, I also have a code followed by a void method which will call my page reference. So this is my page reference. So always I have a variable that will assign to my page reference. So this is a void function. Now let's talk about why. So I have a page reference now and I have a current page reference. I called why, I hope that you know what is why function, right? We discussed about three different ways. Why, why property, why function, why property, why function and imperative. This is called why property, okay? Any doubt? Okay, 
why we are doing just to get our current page reference that's it so we got a fire event so i'm trying to fire an event here i'm trying to fire an event here nothing else i do i'll just fire an event you know how to fire an event in lwc so the fire an event is nothing but for dispatching an event okay fire an event is nothing but you need to dispatch an event Fire an event means a dispatching an event. Dispatching means where you saw the dispatch events before. Now, all you need to say, first you need to prepare your data. What is your data? Data, nothing but your payload. Payload. What is your payload? Here, like name, colon, your payload name. What is your name? This is your payload. And how to fire an event? Because you have a property called fire event from a pub sub. So fire event. And what are the parameters that we had here for a fire event? We had page reference, event name and payload. Isn't it? What are the three parameters? Page reference, event name and payload. So first I need to pass my page reference. So page reference I have here. I let's say this dot page reference comma what is my event name pub sub testing pub sub poc is my event name okay and uh, the best practice let's not use always capital pub sub poc is my event name and what is my payload here this is my payload that's it this is called publisher you don't want to do anything you need to pass three parameters your page reference your event name event name is a custom like whenever you wanted you can define whatever pay, pay, event name and then your payload whatever data you wanted to share now what you need to create you need to create another component subscriber right pub sub pub sub subscriber or handler that is called publisher now this is called subscriber i'll go to my mdt files metadata files i mean and i'll expose this for all pages i'll expose this for all pages and in the subscriber what we need to do again you need to import the same file but this time there is a difference here the subscription should go different here subscription should go different you need to import what are the you need to register listener you need to do unregistered and you need to do unregistered listeners so you can import any of these things so what i'm doing let's not worry we can also import everything all right it's not something like there is a restrictions you can import even everything so let me do one thing import Calibrations, which is ideally required from C's place pub sub. Now we are importing it, and anyway, for this also we need a page reference. So I'll be using my wire call. Where is my current page reference? So I'll be using my page reference. I'll do a wire call so that I can get my page reference always. So, where is my wire call to do? Here. Wire call. Nothing but wire property assignment or current page. Now, what is the default load? Connected callback, right? There is a function called connected to callback. We discussed this yesterday, isn't it? Connected callback will always execute, right? Yes, sir. Connected callback. Now, in connected callback, what we'll be doing? We need to handle here, right? We need to handle. Let's say, I'll say, handle the chain. Really handle pub sub. Handle pub sub. So here are my expectations that I'll get my payload. Payload. Let name equal to 
payload dot what is the value that you are passing from payload name right this is the name right json object dot name alert pops of publish and handle on pop sub subscribe just this is for a component references for future okay so that you can quickly log into the system and you can check it out dot mail now when you need to execute this method whenever there is a event file that event file will be listened by a connected callback okay that event file will be listened by a connected callback so what you can do what is the method that we have register listener so we are registering one listener here registering listener and what is the event name that you pass is the same event name you need to use for it okay whenever you have event name if you are thinking that you need to handle a particular event name then you need to use that pub serve and then this dot your function name this dot your function name comma this why i am saying this because if you can see register listener what it is expecting this argument the value should be passed as a parameter you need to pass object what object you need to pass entire json object okay js file so to pass that you need to use a this keyword connected callback which function you need to do a callback so for connected callback we are using this and what is the event name and we are using whatever event that we use there okay clear any doubt to handle event you need to use a connected callback and in the register listener you need to pass same event name whatever you publish and you are trying to access that one and your handler method here you might can say handle pops or payload you don't want to payload payload will be possible register handled from the callback function so that's a side forward and you need to pass this parameter always as a third parameter that was the expectation clear now if i go here and if i edit my page edit i'll add my component now i'm not adding pubs under pubs publisher i'm adding it as within that page isn't it i'm trying to add that pubs subscriber as a different component right say you don't find anything else the reason behind the pubs component html public i mean subscriber html doesn't have anything so it's like a very blank for you to say connected callback now you can see the pub now you can see pub sub publish and handle and pub sub subscriber dot js is the pub. it got handled or not Okay, got handle. It means that you can able to communicate a do different systems, right? 